Quran is very explicit, confident, without a single doubt that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not killed, neither was he crucified. It is not the Muslims who are deceived, it is the so-called Christians who believe that Jesus was crucified, peace be upon him, are deceived. Greetings, family. Okay, brother, first of all, you are the one deceiving the Islamic community. You are the one confusing all of them. The Christians are not the ones confusing each, each other. We understand the, the, the birth, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ perfectly. And even the Quran can back this up. Now, take a look at this for me. And peace is on me the day I was born, and the day I will die, and the day I am raised alive. Now, tell me, Mr. Wiseman, can there be any resurrection without death? And if you're not satisfied with this one, also take a look at this. When Allah said, O oh Jesus, indeed I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you in submission to Allah alone superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return and I will joy between you concerning that in which you used to defy. And as for those who disbelieve, I will punish them with a severe punishment in this world and the hereafter and they will have no helpers. Again, I ask her, can there be any resurrection without death? You see, you said Jesus Christ never died, according to you. But your Quran, your Quran, not the Bible, not any other book, your Quran is saying Jesus Christ died and there is resurrection. So what then are you saying? Are you not the one deceiving your, your Muslim community? Don't say what you don't understand. Study your, study your own Study your Quran very well before you come outside to begin to say the, the, the Quran, say this, you, you are you're a liar, you're a very big liar. First of all, understand what the Quran is saying before you come outside to spit all these lies. It doesn't tell well on you. I believe you're a, very, you're a teacher. So before you come out to teach something, understand it very well before you come out to teach. Stop deceiving people. That is wickedness. Thank you very much.